that how can we trust and how can it be considered reliable uh, based on what we have today and then discoveries like this happen where we can compare just this fragment of John 18 and see it is almost exactly what we have had passed down to us 2,000 years later and we can go there you go what we are reading is reliable and I wrote in this week's pastor's desk that there are there are good reasons for us to trust our bible we as christians are going to come under enormous opposition over the coming year Um, there's a number of things that are being set up by governments to actually make it really difficult for christians i've been along with uh, a couple of other church leaders in our state trying since Uh, April 14 I believe to have a meeting with the Premier about some of the proposed legislation uh, making it difficult for us as Christians to openly share our faith to openly pray with people things that I never thought in my lifetime I would ever have to battle for so it's the last gospel and this might sound like it you might think it's the last book of the Bible to be written and almost certainly it, it wasn't. And there's a good probability that neither was the book of Revelation the last book of the New Testament to be written. And there's a good probability that John may well have written his gospel after writing the book of Revelation. And there's, I'll give you some of those reasons for that in a moment. The occasion goes like this, that sometime just before 70 AD, which is a significant date in New Testament history, John had been released from Patmos. This verse also, by the way, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. You can have an argument at your doorstep with a Jehovah's Witness about this. They'll say, oh yes, in the, in the Greek there's no definite article after the God, like before the God. And you could basically say, yeah, hang on, let's just go to verse 3, shall we? This one. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Can you see right there? That's going to stop a Jehovah's Witness in their tracks who believe that Jesus Christ was the first created act of God the Father. But can you see how that verse says, "Mm -mm, that cannot be? Because by him, Jesus, the Logos, the Word, all things were made. And there was nothing that was made that he didn't make. He made everything. 